Hello guys and welcome back to The Sims 3. So I don't think I've uploaded any Sims 3 related videos since the release of The Sims 4 so I am very much excited to be filming this and I am here with a new Let's Play so this is going to be a University Life LP because University Life is probably one of my favorite if not my favorite Sims 3 expansion pack. I think it brought so much gameplay and content to the game, so we are going to be exploring all of that in this Let's Play. So the star of this LP is Cindy Paxton, and Cindy is going to be going to university, obviously, and she is pretty nervous about it because she has been homeschooled since the 7th grade. So it's been a while since she's been in that social environment, and she is also a shy girl, so, you know, she's pretty nervous, but also excited, and when her mom mentioned the idea that she joined a sorority, she thought, why not? She's going to be joining a sorority, but little does she know that she is in for a roller coaster ride of drama, schoolwork, relationships, friendships, and so much more. So that is the little backstory I have of Cindy Paxton and I think she is so beautiful and she is um a pretty nerdy girl you know she loves she loves school she loves learning she loves reading and she's a computer whiz so yeah I think Cindy is amazing and I feel like in a lot of ways she's like me so I think that's why I love her a lot more so this is her everyday wear and um, actually everything she's wearing is from the University Life Expansion Pack so I'm very proud of myself because I typically don't ever do that because a lot of the clothes from The Sims 3 is just not pretty but I think she looks really cute in this outfit. It is very polished and uniform like and I would go through all of her outfits but because of Sims 3 and all of its glory it takes about a million years to load every single outfit so I'm not going to show her outfits right now, but you will see them in the Let's Play, of course. And I am going to show you her traits. I will definitely do that. So, her traits. She is ambitious, and she is very much... She actually got a full ride to university. Well, in my story, you know, my story. And she is a bookworm, a computer whiz, genius, and shy. So, yeah, she's a bit of a shy girl. And I think, I'm not too sure, but I think Computer Wiz came with University Life. I'm not completely 100% sure though, but may, it might have come with. And Computer Wiz love spending time on the computer. They are great at tinkering with computers. Well, this also kind of sounds like ambitions. ambitions. And all of these traits actually show you what they would be beneficial to... Um, it says ambitious sims tend to excel academically while at university. Uh, bookworms will benefit in the pursuit of a communications degree. So the traits kind of tip you on what kind of degree you should go for in university. I think I already know what degree she's going to go for. Um, and her lifetime wish is to be a blog artist. And I am really excited for this because I don't think I've ever mastered this lifetime wish and she is a blogger. She's going to be a blogger, so that's going to be fun. She's going to post on her blog all of her daily days at university, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And the blog artist lifetime wish is to reach level 10 in the social networking skill and to create a five-star blog. And I believe this lifetime wish came with university life. I'm almost positive. I guess I will read a little description here. A successful blogger captivates their audience and leaves them yearning for the next post. It's not easy to combine witty observations and impeccable timing, but someone's got to keep the netizens, netizens entertained. The one who does will earn the title of blog artist. So, very excited to do that. Her favorites, I miss all of this so much, like in The Sims 4, we don't have any of this. Um, her favorite food is spaghetti, her favorite music is geek rock, and her favorite color is blue. Her voice sounds like this. Whipsy, Bonica too. And her astrological sign, which by the way, I freaking miss so much in The Sims 4 because I um, probably didn't know this, but I am obsessed with astrology and the signs and 
I think it is so interesting to learn about, and I feel like my astrological sign is very much like who I am. It matches me so well, and it's actually her astrological sign, Gemini. So I'm a Gemini. She's a Gemini. What what better is there, to be honest? But we will go ahead and get started. I, I'll stop rambling, and yeah, let's just jump into the gameplay. And that is her little portrait Hi, there. Super cute. Let's get this started. So I think we're going to jump right in to university. But before, we are going to settle into our house. So we are currently going to be residing in the world of Aurora Skies. And Aurora Skies came from this Sims 3 store. And I think it's a pretty cute little town. Um, haven't played much in it. I think I remember only playing once in this world. So I'm excited to also explore the town and such but let's go ahead and find a house to live in so we have quarry house available for us lots of empty lots humble homestead oh that one's kind of cute i like that one um this one's like brown house and then this one's a reddish house and the houses in aurora skies are pretty simplistic they're kind of box like barn like which i like it's a nice kind of um look to it Home sweet home. This one is more in kind of like the city. But I think I'm going to go for the red house. The humble homestead. Want the city but miss the country. Live in between. Just a short drive to anything you would ever want or need. Wow. That that sold me right there. Can I just buy it already? Um, I think we're going to go with unfurnished. Because if we bought the house furnished, we would only have like... 50 simoleons so and we kind of need money to go to university so we're gonna buy the house unfurnished and yeah we are ready to play i got to love these loading screens um yeah and it looks like oh no the house you've purchased was struck by a small meteor and seems to have sustained some minor fire damage would you like to accept the challenge of cleaning up after the meteor no i i, I don't know I really don't want to, I just want to go to university, so we are going to ignore the challenge. Sorry if you guys wanted me to, but I really don't feel like picking up a ton of rocks, you know? You know, I just don't feel like doing that. And a supernatural wind blows through Aurora skies, and check out, you gotta love all these notifications, first of all. Um, check out your smartphone. So yeah, the smartphone did come with university life, and also the social groups, which we are definitely going to explore. That's all cool. First things first. I'm gonna realize now I'm just kidding. Um, first thing we have to do because I am not gonna have any vampires, werewolves, or fairies, or witches, any supernatural in this game. We're gonna keep it realistic. It looks like we're all set to go. We have pets checked. Okay, we're good. Just wanted to make sure that was good because, yeah. Um, and we are here in our little house. Let's take a look at what it looks like from the outside. Cute little red house. Alrighty, I like it. And we have no furniture, which is okay, because we're automatically going to be going to university. And it looks like she wants to join the investigator career. I don't know about that. Not right now, at least. Um, I guess we're going to wait for the mascot to get here. And in the meantime, we are going to build up our social networking skill. So let's go ahead and browse the web. Browse the web again, and the stream of video. Attention property owner. Ownerships has been upgraded to the digital age. Okay. And, yeah, so, oh, that's a cute house. Just taking a little look around the town here. What's this? A pub, maybe? I'm not too sure. So I guess we're just waiting for the mascot here. Phone junkie. Being addicted to your phone isn't always a bad thing. Um, probably. Most of the time, I guess. Most of the time, it's probably a bad thing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and light up the fire, because we have a little fireplace. We don't have a we don't have a bed, you guys, but we have a fireplace. That's all we need. We can just snuggle by the fireplace, and it'll be it'll be all good. Priorities, you guys. Fireplace over bed. And she wants to buy a science research station. Okay. She wants to learn the social networking skill and she wants to... Oh, girl, you're going to be doing all of that very, very soon. You are 
going to be doing all of that. Cozy fire. Sims enjoy the warm cherry glow of their fireplaces. Poke them for extra warmth. Oh, cool. She she's poking fire. Okay, where are you, mascot? <gasps> Is that him? Oh, wait, never mind. It was not. The mascot usually comes in a really fancy black car, so keep a lookout for that. Let's fast forward here a bit. And look at those trees. Oh, newspaper, boy, girl. There he is, the mascot. And there's his car. That looks kind of weird because it's not loading. Yeah, alrighty. So, mascot comes to your house and he gives you a little basket. So, hi, your friendly Sims University mascot is here to spread some school spirit. I also bring the university welcome ki welcome kit, which is useful university information and fun freebies. So, first thing we're gonna do is take the Sims University aptitude test because that can possibly give us some scholarship money, and we definitely need that. We always need some free money, so let's go ahead and have her do that real quick. And I believe the mascot is a girl, Mary Ellis. Cool. Maybe we should introduce ourselves. So let's go ahead and take the test real quick. Um, counting on her to get some money because she has pretty good traits. So hopefully she does. Looks like we have school pride and entertained. Okay. Acquire an elixir. Probably not. Yay! So it looks like we earned a partial scholarship. We got 1,347. Well, it's not the greatest, but it's okay. And it looks like we have some credit awards for business, technology, science, and medicine. And the technology one's going to work because we're going to be going for a technology degree. And enroll, yes, we are going to enroll in university. We're going to do all of this. So let's do it. Well, first, let's go ahead and chat with... Excuse you, I don't want to talk to you. Some neighbor... Oh, sorry. Um, oh, but we're, why would you ding-dong the door if we're out here? Logic. Okay, let's go ahead and chat with the mascot for a little bit. And after that, let's just go ahead and enroll in university through our telephone. Or cell phone. I don't really know if people say telephone anymore. I don't know. What do you guys say? Cell phone? Telephone? Phone? Um, my cellular device? My mobile device? I, I, I typically just say cell phone. And she looks like she is feeling shy. Cindy Paxson just saw the ghost of- Oh! Oh, fantastic! We have neighbors greeting us and they're ghosts. Beautiful. Alright. So, degrees. The There are three, four, five, six degree options that you get with university. You can get a business, technology, science and medicine, fine arts, communications, or physical education degree. Um, we're going to go with the technology. Embrace the high-tech lifestyle. Technophobes need not apply. Yeah, obviously. And a technology degree will give Sims an instant level boost and higher pay in military and law enforcement careers. So I don't think we're going to be applying for any of those, but I mean, technology is the only one that seems applicable for us. I mean, business, science, and medicine, fine arts, communications. I think we're just going to go with technology. And we'll see what career we follow later on. And we are going to go for two terms and do 24 credits. Because 36 is just way too, like, crazy. She's going to be having classes all the time. So let's give her a bit of fun. Not too many classes. Not a huge load. So we're going to go with 24 credits for two semesters. We're gonna do that and it looks good. Oh my gosh, we're only gonna be paying we're only gonna be paying four hundred simoleons because we have two thousand simoleons of financial aid. That is amazing. Are you sure we want these? Yep. Um so we just enrolled in university, and once you enroll into university, you automatically get 100 simoleons, so that's really cool. And yeah, we only paid 400 simoleons for university. Can I seriously have that in real life, you guys? Like, that is darn cheap. <laughs> and there she goes, their little suitcase. 
and she goes on this little truck and she is on her way yay and oh looks like she has a little suitcase preparing for university so we are here in a loading screen and I will probably get back when we arrive because loading screen can take a few years you know Alright you guys, so we are coming in to university and it is so beautiful here. I've always loved the little town that comes with university. I think it's such a cute little quaint town. Super cute, filled with a lot of students. Said cute about like 10 times there. So where do you want to live this term? So we're going to be living in a sorority. And yeah, so but we do have like options so you could live in dorms which are unisex um sororities or fraternities and you can also live in a house and rent with roommates which we might do later on but right now we are going to be living in a sorority so let's go ahead and find that where is it where are they um here it is here is the sorority house very familiar uh the tri from sorority and we pay zero simoleons to rent which is pretty awesome so yeah we're gonna go ahead and move there and we are gonna be having like seven other roommates so that's gonna be fun welcome to university so here is our other roommates Living in dorms, now that you have arrived, you may want to take a minute to select bed you want to claim, decorate your room. Don't forget to set the lock options on your door if you prefer to keep out to visitors. We're going to be doing all of that, because, yeah. And, yay, so we are here, and let's take a look at our roommates that we have. And this is the um, sorority house. It's pretty nice. It's very big and grand and we actually have vehicles so probably gonna use one of those cuz those are handy bikes take forever so we're gonna use a car and okay so we have Shannon Arkers Arkers sorry <laughs> if I'm butchering that Yi Gang Gang Nam Gang Gang um, Samantha Gray Hannah and I think someone else who I didn't quite see. Paris? Ooh. Okay, so actually let's go ahead and pause the game and pick our room because these go fast. So second floor. Um, I think, I mean, I would want to share a bedroom, but I know Cindy is, she, you know, she's shy. But I really do want her to kind of make a friend. So this one's a really cute room. I like that. The beds probably would need some changing because those aren't the best. We have a single room. Uh, here's another one with the art. Um, upstairs we have... Oh, that... Wait. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Yeah, we have a downstairs, like... Uh, what is it called? What is this called? The basement kind of thing? Alright. So it looks like we are going to be living here. Well... You know, this is going to be our room. Let's go ahead and put up the walls. Where is the door? And let's set this as our room. Well, actually, hold up. Hold up, you guys. Let's set this is let's set this as our bed. Set bed ownership. Cindy Paxton. And we can actually pick our roommate. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, We have Ashley... Paris seems like a nice person. Paris Vanderbilt. What is she? What is her um social group? Uh, let's actually take a look. We'd probably mostly get along with uh, nerds. I believe that's what they're called. Everyone is a jock. All right. I think we're gonna be the only nerd. But I think Paris is nice. We're gonna go ahead and have her be our roommate. So let's set bed ownership to Paris Vanderbilt. And yeah, so. Yeah, this is our dorm. I do want to decorate it, but we can do that later on. And let's just go ahead and introduce ourselves to our roommates. So, where did Paris go? Well, let's introduce ourselves to everyone. So we'll introduce ourselves to Hannah. It's really hard for us to do this. Oh, and Paris, of course, because she's going to be our roommate. 
She's pretty, actually. And maybe eventually I can give all these girls makeovers. They're gonna do that, probably. But even though she doesn't like introducing her herself to new people, we're gonna do that a lot, so we better get used to it. And let's go ahead and maybe ask about her day. Talk about books. Hopefully she's into that. I don't know. And get to know. Shaka bra is always nice. And that came with the Island Paradise greeting. Um, ask about Alma Mater. And do's about the new house, of course. Oh, looks like we have someone else. Rebecca Lynn. Ooh, I love her hair. She has a cute little hairstyle. Oh, jeez. We already have drama over here. Looks like Shannon and Hannah are not going to get along well. Hopefully you guys aren't roommates. But it looks like we're getting along pretty well with Paris. Um, let's go ahead and funny. Tell a funny story. Show a funny video. Show internet and cats video. And let's just talk about university. She's pretty. Yeah. Samantha Gray looks like a total amazing person. Um, yeah. We have pretty good roommates. I'm excited. So excited. Rebecca looks like is she's an artist. Yeah, she's a rebel. And it's probably going to be... We're probably going to get invited to the whole university welcoming in a bit. So we'll definitely go to that. Oh, and then we have a giant pool in the back, if you guys didn't know. Yeah, so we're going to be throwing parties. Obviously, we're a sorority. We're going to be throwing parties. Big parties. And Cindy learned that Paris attended community high school and graduated from Sims University with a degree in business. Pretty cool. Um, we have a garage, two, two car garage, and a fire pit, diving board. Big party is gonna go down here, definitely. Alright, and let's just go ahead and. Well, I think funny is really improves your relationship in The Sims 3, so let's go ahead and just be all sorts of hilarious. Okay. Looks like someone's watching football. Oh, what? No way. We're already having an, a juice kegger party? Well, this is this is university. <laughs> Yi Gangnam invited Cindy Paxton to an upcoming juice kegger party. Um, let's go ahead and view the invitation. Is Cindy ready to party down? More like get down. Um, time Sunday at 4.02 p.m. Casual, of course, at our place. Of course we will be there. We kind of live here, you know. Wow, so our first party, and it looks like we gained one level in jock um, from talking to a jock. Life is easier when groups share common values. So I do believe we have the jock, I mean, the um, social groups are as follows. Let's go ahead. Check that out. Where is that at? I know there's a- okay, check social groups. So we have the nerd social group, rebel social group, and jock. So I do eventually want to max out all of the groups, but let's go ahead and go for nerd. And what's really cool about this little app thing in the phone is it tells you what things you can do in order to gain that social group level. So here we, has, we have to ask other nerds about their degrees, tell stories or jokes to other nerds. Probably the easiest kind of way to become part of that group is to talk to someone who's part of that group. So like with Paris, we automatically became jock because she is a jock. So that's pretty easy. And oh, we have a backpack. And we automatically got a cerebralizing brain enhancing machine. So with your degree, depending on what degree you get, you get a different object that helps you study and practice from. And the university meet and greet is starting at the student union. So it looks like we're going to head over there. But actually, this is where I'm going to wrap up the part. So in the next part, we'll head over there and just do all sorts of stuff and 
we actually have a party to go to, so I am super excited. I hope you guys enjoyed the first part, and I will talk to you guys all very soon. Bye, guys!